Welcome back to Bitfumes. This is PayPal payment integration and we are working on the subscription system. We have done with the create plan and activate plan. Now it's time to create an agreement. For that, if we go to the documentation or the sample codes we have on the billing plan and agreement, we have a create billing agreement with PayPal. So let's open this code and here we need to use all these codes. So on PHP storm, I will create another file or another PHP class called PayPal agreement like this and let's remove it. We need to extend it with PayPal and yes, this time again, I will create a function called create and inside this I will have all these codes. So now I have copied all the codes from this given sample. Let me explain you everything. So first to initialize the agreement, we are using this agreement class. So let's import this and now it says base agreement, base agreement and start date and end date like these things. So let's refactor this to a method called agreement and like this then i will yeah here we are initializing the plan class then we need to pass the plan id here so i can simply get the id when i am trying to create the agreement so in the create part i'm getting the id passing it to set id and then agreement and set plan here so that's good i think we don't need to refactor it's not too much so pair is uh, paypal obviously then agreement is set pair then shipping address again import it and ag adding shipping address to agreement then giving the api context here and finally we need to get the approval link this is actually the approval link where we uh, redirect the user to execute that agreement so i will say return redirect to our approve url so return redirect approve url like this so let's do some refactoring so yeah we have agreement and in the agreement we need to set plan so let's cut these two from here go on the agreement and after setting the name description we can initialize the plan and then I will say this part. So like this. So again, let's refactor it to a method, protected method of plan. And yeah, we have done that. And again, let's inline these things. So inline it here. Yes, we need to get the ID so we can get the ID from agreement. So we have passed it here and let's see next is pair. So cut from here and on the agreement after this we have a set plan. So now we need to have this in a new uh, method once more and this is actually pair and inline it. So which is also done. Next is shipping address. So shipping address cut from there, paste it here and refactor it to a method shipping address and then we know inline it. Yep, it is also done. Then we need, let's cut these things from here and paste it here so agreement is creating this dot ap this arrow api context that's okay and then we are saying agreement get approval agreement so uh, approval link so let's return this at actually and now i think we are doing everything correct but why it's saying some error the return expected people agreement so let's do one thing here we just need to return redirect to 
this one so we can say this agreement return redirect because this agreement is actually we need to pass id here this agreement is actually returning prove given a url uh, and it's giving actually error because of this doc box so if i change here yeah, it is now a string so update the doc box everything is looking nice uh, yeah it is done so we need to call this uh, create function somewhere so whenever we are executing the payment agreement or PayPal agreement so it's like when we are uh, using subscription controller we can simply say public function and uh, execute is, is that execute uh, create billing agreement so like uh, create agreement and here we need to pass the ID and now we what we need to do we need to again uh, initialize a new system which is like ag agreement is equal to uh, PayPal agreement and that has to be new class new PayPal agreement and I will say agreement arrow create and passing the id this is done and what will be the url so let's say route of post and i will say plan then plan id so id and then i will say agreement uh, meant slash create and this has to be on subscription controller at create agreement okay so this is done and let's open our welcome.plate.php it's not opening here so let's go on resources views welcome.plate.php we have a uh, route and we can say create instead of pay payment i can say agreement for now and let's say subscribe now and giving a name of create have an agreement this is done so let's go here and localhost 8000 and it says create agreement need one parameter which is actually the uh, plan ID so we need to pass plan ID here and we can pass plan ID directly uh, by hard coding it because we are not uh, using any kind of uh, real flow I'm just showing you how these things are working so we have passed this ID here and now if I go here refresh this page subscribe now button is there click on this button and now it's doing something let's see what's going to happen so it's there and I think we have not returned this yeah we have not returned this so we need to return and let's once more go to localhost 8000 subscribe here and let's see the result and now you can see we are redirected to this page to subscribe so once again let me do one thing let's go to Firefox and I will say localhost 8000 subscribe now and here I will log in and now let's log in here one two three four five six seven eight log in so now you can see it says this information for me which is correct and that's okay no problem so let's agree and continue and now it's redirected to execute agreement where we need to execute which is the actually final step to execute the agreement so get approval uh, customer approval that is actually the login part of uh, the system so we will see in the next episode how we can execute the payment till now if you have any doubt please feel free to message me comment me and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye